morning guys. Today I will be going to Hiroshima and this will be my first time in Hiroshima. I'm very excited to check out that region of Japan. I've never been there. But first, I have to get out of this hotel. I, I might show you my uh, checkout process, but it's actually raining right now. And I'm going to be going to Tokyo Station and I'll be taking the Shinkansen to Hiroshima. So I'll walk you through that process. So let's go guys. But I need to make sure I don't get rained on here. It's gonna be hard. All right, actually it was just a very short walk here. So we're gonna take the Hibby line to Maranucci transfer and then go Maranucci to uh, Tokyo Station. So sadly it is raining today. Hopefully it's not too bad in uh, Hiroshima. But, we'll see. So, let me just get my maps up here. And yeah, I'm ex very excited to start this next leg of my Japan trip. I will be coming back to Tokyo soon. Um, but I'll be exploring a bunch of different places outside of uh, Tokyo and in other areas in Japan here. Let's see if, uh, oh, okay, that works. Okay, so you don't have to use Face ID for that. You can just swipe your phone, which is really nice. Okay, we're gonna go number two. I'll give myself plenty of time, just in case. It's a wild guess. It is 9.30, so it is definitely like rush hour, people getting to work. And you can definitely tell. So yeah, we're gonna go do Kasumagatsuke line. So I'm in the right area here. It's so crowded. Okay, now I gotta go to the Maranucci line. And I have not eaten yet today. So I'm like, oh. Alright. Okay, so we're going to uh, Tokyo Station. That's where the Shinkansen is. So... Well, actually I'm a little confused because... The signage says Marinucci line that way. One is that way. We need to go to the other one. Going down this way. Okay. Yep, this is where we need to go. Okay. Uh, I guess this is it. Mama. We're here, we're gonna go with Ginza to the local Oh my gosh, again, I don't know if I'll get in. Oh my goodness. Alright, we are at Tokyo Station actually. Really, really not bad to get from Roppongi to Tokyo Station. Pretty quick. Now, getting through Tokyo Station, that's gonna be fun. But I have an hour to do this, so plenty of time. Get myself a Mento box. Okay, easy enough. Alright guys, we are back in Tokyo Station for the first time in six months. So, I'm gonna give you a uh, travel hack here. Definitely download the Suica card to your Apple wallet or your Android wallet if you have Android. All you have to do is put your phone over the IC reader and that's all you have to do. Now if you want a physical card as a souvenir, you can get one at the airport, but I recommend the, at the uh, wallet integration because it's very simple. Okay guys, so I'm just, I have to type tap my IC card to get back into this uh, area which has the uh, Shinkansen's. Um, but I don't know if once I go through if there's like restaurants and stuff, so I really need to eat something. So I'm gonna like take a minute to walk around here. Here you've got like a Kinokuniya. Let's check out this, see what I can find in here. I don't know what this is, but it reminds me of a Sakura, so I'm gonna get it for a free snack. And then my, if my memory serves me correctly, I can get a little bento box before I get in there. 
There's lots of stuff here. I don't know what this is, but I'm very curious. Yeah, I was looking for a uh, onigiri, so I think I will also get one of these here as well. Maybe spicy cod. Okay, fortunately they have a little area to eat here, so I'm gonna try these, and then we'll get on our way. Open. Hmm. Oh, this is really good. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Very spongy. It's like a little cake. in there and then some gel mm. okay guys let's, uh, let's get our way through here this is JR Wine Shinkansen so I'm assuming this will work all right here's the Shinkansen I'm assuming it's this way the bento boxes actually have a special name, and these are traditionally eaten on the train with a beer. If I can find one, I'm gonna get one with a beer. I didn't have a beer last time I did Shinkansen, but I'm gonna do it this time. Oh, we've got the uh, fruit sandwiches there. Oh, those are very good and popular. Those are so good. All right, just continuing to follow the signs here. It's starting to look familiar. Gets a little confusing because there's an arrow for Shinkansen elevator and then there's an arrow for Shinkansen. So I don't actually know. I guess you can't go wrong with either, huh? So I noticed there are tons of coin lockers here that you can take if you need them. All right. So this is also looking very familiar. I hope I didn't double pay. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like I have to go through another gate here. Oh boy, I need to find what my where my Shinkansen is. Okay, blue one is for Kyoto Osaka. I'm assuming that's it because I'm going below that to Hiroshima. Oh my God, guys, this is this is so crazy. Oh, okay. I need to pick up my ticket. <laughs> Alright guys, I use the SmartX app and I have to issue a pickup ticket or a pickup code and I think I can get it there. So I have my ticket. It's honestly extremely confusing and getting this set up through SmartX and the other apps that I tried were extremely clunky and complicated. Now there's a service that I've used in the past called Kluk. I will be using Kluk for the next Shinkansen journey I make. Kluk is also the sponsor of this video. Kluk is an experiences booking platform and your ultimate travel companion that brings the world closer to you, making it easy, more affordable, and more exciting to explore new destinations. And listen, if you're traveling to Asia like I have been over the past year, you need Kluk. The pricing is competitive, there are always discounts available, and there are over 40 currencies available, so you can pay in your native currency, meaning you can avoid the foreign transaction fees, which really do tend to add up. Specifically, if you're traveling to Japan, the Shinkansen is a pretty stressful first time experience as you have seen in this video. So you can use Kluke to cut down the level of stress involved in that process. Booking through their website or app is extremely simple. You just fill out the forms. It will guide you through everything, pay in your currency and you'll get a QR code. I truly wouldn't have taken the sponsorship if it wasn't a platform I had personally used before in the past. Sign up for Kluke today using my affiliate link below and you can also download the app on your phone. It only takes a minute and you can start booking your next travel destination. Once again, thank you so much to Kluke for sponsoring this video. So if you pre-book your Shinkansen online through Kluke or other apps, but if you use Kluke, you will get a QR code. And then what you can do is just come to one of these um, state ticket stations here. 
uh, use the QR code to print your ticket and then you're good to go. It's really easy. So right here's the gate, the entrance way to get into the Shinkansen tracks. And then right next to it is the ticket stations. This is where you'll pick up your tickets. Uh, this is something I struggled with in my first Shinkansen journey. By the way, if you buy the JR Pass, um, you can also use the QR code that comes with your JR Pass and pick up your tickets here. You do have to pre-schedule in advance. There is a web portal to schedule your Shinkansen. Um, but once you schedule it, you can go right here and pick it up. Okay, I'm Nozomi uh, 27, so that's track 18. Okay, and after I inserted the ticket, I had to tap my phone, my IC card, which is weird because it was I did not link that to my SmartX app. So I don't know, it was strange. But they're very helpful if you ask, if you have a question, they will help you. Okay, let's get one of these bento box type things. I have plenty of time. It leaves at 11.12 and it is 10.37, so I've got half hour. So I'm assuming 18 is over here. I believe this is where I got my last box, Delica Station. They're actually really good. But I remember ordering it from somebody. No, this was not it. Oh yes, I kept referring it to as a bento box. It's an Eki bin. That is, uh, that is what it was. All right, well, we're just gonna have to go with one here. There are all these other ones too. I'd like to get the same one I had last time. I'm gonna try this one. Some of these you can heat. I don't know if you can heat this one, but I'm also gonna get a Sapporo. Yeah. And probably a water. Yeah. Okay guys, we can breathe a little easier now. We're right through the station. Got our Eki bin. And there's our train at 11.12. So now the only thing is I gotta wait in the cold. <laughs> Maybe I should have got a big beer, but definitely gonna have a few beers in uh, Hiroshima, I believe. You know, I found out from my last trip that it's very disrespectful to like make noise, talk on the Shinkansen, so I probably will not be filming much inside the Shinkansen, but we'll see. I don't want to upset people, and yeah, I found out it's pretty disrespectful, so we'll, we'll see what happens. You guys been waiting here in this uh, heated waiting area, and my uh, train should be here. So I'm car 11, seat 4D. Let's go. Alright guys, well, Another good uh, journey on the Shinkansen. I'm in Hiroshima, so let me uh, find my way to the hotel. Right, the Maps app is saying I might have to take a bus. That can't be right, right? There's gotta be some type of metro. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But, say, really clean, modern uh, metro station here. Less chaotic than Tokyo Station. There's still a lot going on. All right, let me find my way. All right, tourist information. I'm gonna go in there and ask someone. I'm sure they'll be very helpful. I'm gonna look like such a tourist with this map, but I go out the south gate, very friendly. I go out the south gate and then I take the number one to the station. I forget what it's all called already. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. It does feel slightly colder here than in Tokyo, which I'm a bit surprised about. But, uh, it's okay. Alright, so here's, here's the south gate. Okay. So, I think we're gonna take the streetcar. I'm just used to all of the metros. Maybe the metro here is called the streetcar. Streetcar. Yeah. Sorry about the flickering. I had the Hertz set correctly for Tokyo. Maybe it's different here, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, that's number five, I guess. Yeah. I'm not gonna get on that because I don't know. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I see number one up there. Wow, look at this, guys. Old school. Hopefully I can use my Suica card here. So that should be mine. Number one. And I can use my Suica card here, I did ask. Kuretiketsu, I guess that's how you say it, uh, but I went on the wrong side of the street, so. <laughs> uh, it is, the windshield here is absolutely brutal, so I gotta put my sweater on for this. I'll show you the hotel room. Oh guys, looks fancy. I like the outside. I think this is what I scheduled. Let's see here. Alright guys, so they have me on the 14th floor here, top floor. Nice, nice. All right, so let's take a look at the room here. This is where I'm going to put my bags. So this is very, very small, even for a uh, business hotel, but, well, I can't really tell. I think it's a little bit smaller than the other one. It doesn't matter. Uh, I am spending, on average, $98 per night in Japan for a month. So I don't know exactly what the nightly price on this is, but I believe it was cheaper. It was cheaper because the other rooms made up for the cost, especially in Kyoto. Um, this one was significantly cheaper. I believe it was only like $77 for two nights, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so got a little bit of uh, desk space here to do some work, which is always good. TV, bed, little side table, which is a, yeah, it's a nice touch. And then let's take a look at the bathroom here. Oh, actually, nice little bathroom here, guys. So, cool. Got everything I need. Now I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some food and a brew. Cause that journey from uh, Tokyo to Hiroshima is like almost four hours. Yeah, it's like almost, you leave at 11, I left at 11.12 and I got in at 3.02. So yeah, that's like basically four hours. Do we have a view? Let's see. <laughs> Don't know what's going on here. Uh, whoa, what's going on here? Okay, no view. That's okay. All right, guys. Well, I have to say, on the way in here, Hiroshima looks like an ultra modern city. I wasn't sure what to expect, but there's a lot going on here, and it's very clean, spacious. Um, it is quite busy, but obviously not Tokyo busy. So. Let's find a place to eat. There's a special meal here called Okonomiyaki, which I will absolutely be eating in my time here. I think I will do that tomorrow, but we'll see, we'll see. So that's definitely on my list for Hiroshima. You can also find it in uh, Osaka, but this is like, they do different styles, but this is definitely one you wanna try here. So I do think I know why my hotel was this cheap. It's like the other, as I was coming in here closer, to the station it's a lot more developed like what I mean by that is there's a lot more retail shopping it seems like restaurants not that this isn't developed but uh, it's a little bit more industrial I guess I think I'm gonna get some ramen because it's very cold and I'm probably gonna eat a bunch of okonomiyaki tomorrow like a lot all right so this is spot that I think I'm gonna go eat at. Let's go. I'm the only one here. Yeah, we'll go. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Uh, do I order anything? Oh. Very large Zapporo. Cheers. Hey. Uh, for surprise? Okay. okay. Uh, to vinegar. Vinegar? Okay. Uh, apple vinegar. Okay. Spicy. 
spicy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. So he's explaining to me you can make you can make your own ramen. They're very very friendly. Oh my gosh, so nice, so nice. There you go. So here's what we have here. Oh, it looks good. Alright guys, so Jayan Etsu no Shizuku This is the ramen shop I just ate at Not joking when I say this One of the best bowls of ramen I've ever had oh, So good So good, it's got very high reviews too uh, I've noticed a lot of the ramen shops in Japan Like It's like 4 stars or even under 4 stars But the ramen's really good I think it's uh, very critically Review. I think ramen in Japan is very critically reviewed, obviously. And so if you get like above a 4-2 <laughs> ramen shop on the Google Maps, it's going to be insane. And that's a 4-4. So I recommend you go there if you've eaten enough okonomoyaki and you want some ramen. Oh, so good. like there's this shop called Little Mermaid where you can get like teas, hot milk, and then uh, some really good looking pastries from the outside as well. Maybe take a dip in here, see what's in here. I'm very full. Otherwise, I don't get it, but I might get a drink. All right, guys, let's try some of this hot tea. It's 300 yen, which is like a, a less than, uh, maybe $2 or so. Oh, it's really good. Wow. I have to get some water sometime soon. Anyway, guys, I think that will conclude this video. Hopefully this video is helpful for you if, you're, if you are taking the Shinkans in for the first time. It is stressful, just give yourself enough time, you will get through it. Once you get there, you'll get through it. Give yourself an hour at least. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Really excited to be in Hiroshima and explore this area. So thank you so much and I will certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.